McKean went missing late Thursday afternoon along with her son eight-year-old son, Gideon, after their canoe apparently capsized in Chesapeake Bay. Authorities have found the body of Meve Kennedy Townsend McKean Monday, five days after her canoe apparently capsized in the Chesapeake Bay. McKean, the adult daughter of former Maryland Lieutenant Governor Kathleen Kennedy Townsend and granddaughter of Robert F. Kennedy, went missing late Thursday afternoon along with her son eight-year-old son, Gideon. The pair went out into waters near the family's home in Shadyside, Maryland, about 25 miles south of Annapolis. A preliminary investigation found that McKean and her son may have been paddling the canoe out into the bay to retrieve a ball and were unable to paddle back to shore. The Maryland Natural Resources Police said Monday that McKean's body was found in 25 feet of water and about 2.5 miles south of her mother's residence where the canoe was launched. Authorities used aviation and underwater imaging sonar technology to find her body. The authorities said they would resume their search for Gideon on Tuesday. David McKean wrote a lengthy Facebook post Friday in tribute to his late wife and young son, calling his wife the brightest light he had ever known. She was magical, with endless energy that she would put toward inventing games for our children, taking on another project at work or in our community, and spending time with our friends, he wrote. He described Gideon as a child who had deep passions and spent hours reading, learning about sports and trying to decipher the mysteries of the stock market. But he was also incredibly social, athletic, and courageous, McKean wrote. And he was brave, leading his friends in games, standing up to people who he thought were wrong, including his parents, and relishing opportunities to go on adventures with friends, even those he'd just met. Protester arrested at NYCCOVID-19 Field Hospital run by anti-gay evangelist. William Tallon, 69, was charged with resisting arrest, criminal trespass and disorderly conduct outside the Samaritan's Purse Field Hospital in Central Park. A protester donning a pink suit and bandana mask was arrested Sunday afternoon at a COVID-19 field hospital in New York City's Central Park that is being run by an evangelical group whose leader has a long history of anti-LGBTQ beliefs. They have no business being in New York City, the protester, William Tallon, 69, shouted as six New York City Police Department officers, one of whom appeared to be carrying Tallon's rainbow flag removed him from the park. They are the virus. The 68-bed field hospital is run by Samaritan's Purse, an evangelical Christian humanitarian organization run by Franklin Graham, son of the late Reverend Billy Graham. Franklin Graham, as NBC News previously reported, has a long history of controversial beliefs and remarks, and his relief organization requires volunteers to adhere to a statement of faith which says marriage is exclusively the union of one genetic male and one genetic female. Talon, a performer who also goes by Reverend Billy, was charged with resisting arrest, obstructing governmental administration, criminal trespass and disorderly conduct, according to an NYPD spokesperson, who said he is thus far the only person to be arrested at the field hospital. In an email sent to NBC News, the spokesperson said Talon jumped over the outer perimeter barrier of the Samaritan's Purse Field Hospital, a prohibited area and was then instructed to leave. He refused and proceeded to plant a flag on a pole into the ground. Talon did not immediately respond to a request for comment, and while Samaritan's Purse declined to comment on Sunday's incident, a spokesperson told NBC News on Monday that the organization's focus remains on providing the highest level of care to all patients being treated at our emergency field hospital in Central Park. In a previous statement shared with NBC News, Franklin Graham said Samaritan's Purse treats everyone we help the same. We do not make distinctions about an individual's religion, race, sexual orientation, or economic status, he stated. We certainly do not discriminate, and we have a decades-long track record that confirms just that. Samaritan's Purse is working with the Mount Sinai Health System, a New York City hospital network, to address the overflow of patients due to the coronavirus pandemic.
In a statement emailed to NBC News on Monday, a Mount Sinai spokesperson said all staff within its hospital system, including the Samaritan's Purse Field Hospital, will adhere to Mount Sinai's principles and guidelines when it comes to not discriminating against patients or staff. In short, while our organizations may have differences of opinions, when it comes to COVID-19 we are fully united, we will care for everyone and no patients or staff will be discriminated against, the spokesperson said.